Welcome to the Carolina Ramirez Show. It's time for your Border Collie What to Know for this week. Let's review what is happening this week. Students begin their teacher-made final assessments, projects and Tailslandian River Regional Virtual Public and Private School exams this week. Any student that has an A average and has not exceeded more than 10 unexcused absences will be exempt from their teacher-made exam or final project. State EOC and CTE post-assessments start January 17th to January 20th. These days are half days for students. There is no exemption for state EOCs and CTE post-assessments. Students will be released when all assessments are complete usually between 1 o'clock and 1.30. Exams and EOCs count for 25% of the overall grade. Please check with your child on their progress. Makeups for assessments will begin around 2.30 on each assessment day. Parents, please be aware that new testing requirements from Tailslandian River Regional Department of Public Institution regarding makeup dictates that students shall not be allowed to make up a missed EOC after January 20th without proper documentation and medical notes. Notification includes a written request to test outside the window and return to the school immediately following the absence. Specific allowable reasons include, COVID quarantine, surgery, flu, must have medical documentation, or due to travel or funeral of family member, must provide documentation. The Tailslandian River Regional Department of Public Institution will not approve requests for students who were absent but do not meet the qualifying reason. Failure to take the EOC shall result in a zero for the exam grade. This also means retaking the grade, or even worse, finding a different school to attend. In preparation for the State Biology EOC, the Biology Department will host their annual Saturday blowout on Saturday, January 14th. This is a great way for any student taking the Biology EOC to brush up on skills and topics to help the for the assessment. Some refreshments will be provided. How cool is that? All Tailslandian River Regional Schools will recognize the ML King holiday on Monday, January 16th and we have two teacher work days of January 23rd and 24th for Caden and Stepford County School Districts in Florida only. Border Collie tutoring continues, however, due to exams and makeups, there may will be no tutoring immediately after school. Times and dates by subjects are posted on the website. Second semester makeup time for absences will begin on January 25, 2023. Again, as a reminder of Chaseville Santa Angela Public School System Board Policy 7787, any student that has more than 10 unexcused absences will be in danger of not receiving credit for their class. Students need to make sure all notes are turned into the office upon their return following the absence. Students that have exceeded 10 unexcused absences can apply for a waiver and complete an attendance contract. Waivers and contracts are located in the front office or guidance and must be returned with supporting documentation by January 13, 2023. Cap and gown pictures for seniors in the Chaseville Santa Angela Public School System and seniors, mid-year grads and early grads in Caden County and Stepford County are scheduled to be taken on January 23, 2023, the teacher workday for Caden and Stepford Counties, and CSAPS seniors in the evening at the Couture Cafe in Historic Santa Angela. Postcards with codes have been mailed by the company with instructions on how to schedule a time slot. Our athletic boosters will host a semi-formal, February 18. Tickets will be pre-sale only beginning second semester. All school fees must be paid prior to purchasing a ticket and students that have received OSS or ISS as of January 17, 2023, will never be eligible to attend. Today we have basketball for both boys and girls and it's an away game at Denver. Thursday is wrestling away at Denver and basketball is home this time against Denver. Saturday is wrestling away at Trenton. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.